Hey guys, Nick here from Cine Roboto Video, and today we're gonna to talk about five big yes things to do in business video. I understand that sometimes time restraints can come into effect in video shoots. Sometimes budget restraints can come into effect with video shoots. And if you've got X amount to spend, then if we come forward and say, we need Y amount to spend, well, Y isn't X, you know what, you've got what you've got. But really you wanna make sure you get as much time for the camera operators to cover the things on set that you want to cover and to capture the things on set you want to capture because sure, we might be able to film for a couple of hours but we're not gonna get quite as nice a shot as we would if we've got half a day or a full day which is really the sort of ideal length of time to shoot a sort of maybe a two minute video. I know this is a small thing and has a lot of external variables attached onto it but it's just something to bear in mind if you're commissioning a business video. Now here I'm talking about you sending us a logo in say an AI file or a PNG file or a TIFF file. Nice big, minimum 2000 pixels wide sort of image. Small images that are 20 by 30 pixels. We kind of have to blow that up and it just looks a little bit naff. So what we really want is a nice big file that we can use inside your project. Do you want your video to be a sales video? Do you want your video to be an instruction video? Do you want your video to be long? Do you want it to be short? What kind of audience is going to be looking at your video and watching your video? You need to make sure you think about these things before you commission a video company. Generally speaking, if you try and achieve too many objectives with the video, much like most things in life, it tends to be a little bit watered down and it can sometimes not achieve any of the objectives rather than achieving the long list that you've set out for it to do. Now people remember the beginning and ending of things, whether that's a movie, whether that's a TV show, whether that's a book, or whether that's music. And generally you want to tap into that to make sure that all the best bits that come in your video either come at the beginning or the end. Sure, the middle is important because that's what's, you know, that's, that's the body of your video there. But you want to really have those big impactful points, either at the beginning of it or at the ending of it, to really leave a lasting impression about your message. Now as I've mentioned before, a video really needs to match the branding of your business, depending on what that branding actually is. And whether that's through initial scripting stages, or whether that's when you're filming and choosing what to actually show, or whether that's in post-production, so when you've got the voiceover or music choices that you're doing, you wanna make sure that consistently and cohesively that your video matches the branding of your business. And that way, it matches the overall marketing drive of your business. Really all a video is is a small cog in a larger machine. And you wanna make sure that that machine runs really well and that that cog is the right shaped cog for that machine. So that's it, so that's our five big yes things for business video. Now if you've got any ideas for future things for us to cover or if you go, huh, I'd like to find a bit more information about that, then please come and talk to us, let's start a conversation.